What sort of a response has your bank received? Oh, just tremendous, Dylan. The, uh, the, the bank has had uh, local overwhelming interest in the product because there's been no other alternative for the community to do banking without uh, interest, or REBA, as the, 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 the community uh, calls it. I educate people. In other words, what, what is different about a Muslim bank in terms of the banking practice in comparison to a, to a more traditional uh, American bank? Well, the, the Muslim community carries over the religious prohibition of the early Christian church and the Jewish religion uh, that all interest is uh, prohibited. And they call uh, that in our, our terms usury, but in uh, Islamic terms, riba. And so as a bank, considering that the, the collection of interest is one of the primary, if not the only, in some cases, uh, revenue generation mechanism, how do you make money as a business and, and comply with that standard? You know, Dylan, that was exactly my question when uh, a member of the community first came to me. I said, how do you do banking then if you can't have interest, can't pay or receive interest? Well, the, the answer is you have to structure products legally very differently. Uh, so, for example, in the home financing products, you cannot have a mortgage. So we use structures that look like uh, land contracts and sale leasebacks. We use a Delaware Trust structure. It's very complicated legally. And it took us about a year, actually, to develop the product so that it's legally enforceable and uh, usable in the United States. But at the end of the day, you have a contract which is very different from the standard sort of a contract where all the risk is on the shoulder of the borrower in traditional conventional contracts. In Islamic principles, the, the contract must be symmetrically risky. So. The bank doesn't necessarily have full recourse against the individual. They only have recourse against the property and very limited recourse against the individual. But where, do, where are you getting paid along the way for, for funding well, the home? Sure. Well, the, their, their payments made, and the payments are made uh, actually very comparable in dollar terms. So, for example, if you're, you know, you're getting a, a, a mortgage, a conventional mortgage, you, you, know, you might pay $6,000 a year per $100,000 borrowed. Well, in Islamic structure, you're still going to be paying about $6,000 a year, but that, that payment is going to be in the term of lease uh, payments and additional rent as opposed to uh, interest payments. And it's legally structured very differently. Or alternatively, in another product that we've just recently started offering with Freddie Mac in a strategic partnership with Freddie Mac, uh, a markup sale. So you purchase the home. Uh, for the customer and then we in turn sell the home back to the customer in equal monthly installments over a period of time, maybe in this case 30 years, at a marked up price. Well that profit is Islamically okay.